So today when you're creating your business card, you are required to include your business logo on your business card. And you're probably going to want to be able to easily include your business logo in the future. So we are going to go into Canva and we're going to start with a blank poster. Click create a blank poster. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rename this to be our um, brand name Chef Pilates and then I'm going to call this my logo kit. The next thing that we need to do is we actually are going to resize um, this to be the size of a business card, which I've done this recently, but you would put the width in as 3.5 and the height in as two. And then you're simply going to just click resize because we don't need to make a copy of it, okay? And then the next thing that you're going to do is you are going to go to the text tab and you are going to now, if, you, if you're gonna to go to the text tab if your brand logo is letters, you'll go to the elements tab if it is some sort of image. You can also make your life really easy and go to projects because you have already created um, your branding kit and you can click on your branding kit and then you can remove all the parts that you don't need and just simply keep the logo. So you'll go through and you'll delete all these parts Okay, and then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to put this right towards the center and we've already seen my design so we know that this needs to be larger. So make sure that you have both pieces selected and click and drag in this way and then I always like to put it back in the position I envision it being on my um, business card and this seems like a pretty balanced size. Now, if we remember back to my brand kit, we know that I have a few different colors. So I'm actually going to duplicate this page by clicking on this button right here. I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna label page one as black because black is one of my brand colors and I want to keep everything organized on this page. I am going to select all, click on my color, and I've added my brand kit in here to Canva to make it easier. So I'm gonna change this to dark green, dark green, and I'm going to label it as dark green page two. Again, duplicate again, select, change the color to the dark blue, and label. And then we have to just duplicate once more for my light blue color, light blue, perfect. Okay, so now that we've made this logo kit and all of our brand colors, which I suggest you do because then it's already gonna be created for you. What I suggest you do is now save. And what you need to save as is a PNG with a transparent background because that is how you're going to get it to look like this. If I were to simply download this now as a regular old PNG, it would um, have the white background. So you're going to click share. You're going to click download and it's already selected on PNG. The next thing that you need to do is you need to select transparent background and then you're going to click download. It's going to download and it has downloaded as a zip file. So I'm going to drag this onto my desktop, double click on it, and as you can see, it then opens this, and you can see it's saved as what I originally saved the document as, and then I have 
all of these saved as the colors I labeled them as. If we double click on one, you'll see it has this gray background. That means that there is actually no background here. And then what I'm gonna do is, just so it's already pre-saved into my Canva, I am going to open this back up. I'm gonna select these four PNG files and I'm gonna click and upload them so they're already saved into my Canva account. And now I can easily add them to any design. If you can't click and drag like that on your computer, you would just click upload files and you know find the files wherever they are on your computer. And that is how you add your logo without a background.